Today I'm going to talk about eyeliner. <laughs> Hi and welcome back to yesterday's wishes. Today I'm going to start a new series called Hate or Rate where I pick a item of whatever sort of substance of makeup that you put on your face and I'm going to rate it or hate it. So today I'm going to talk about eyeliners. First I'm going to talk about the Rimmel London Scandalize Jumbo Liquid Eyeliner. In terms of easy access and easy use for this pen, it's fairly immovable um, and that depends on your personal preference whether you like it. Personally I really love it and I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 star rating. Finding it in your makeup bag is really easy because it's really big and I can tell it apart from the rest of my eyeliners so you don't necessarily need a braille label on it or anything. And also it's great for bigger eyes, it makes them really big and if if you want to do a party look it's absolutely fab I'm wearing it at the moment in terms of pigmentation and staying power I would give this a four out of five it's you don't really have to build it up it's really useful you can just draw it on um, plus the size of the pen as well it's really helpful it's very black and also it doesn't really transfer onto your eyelid it's just a all-round really good pen um, and it's from Boots drugstore. Maybelline Master Precise is my absolute favourite eyeliner. If you're doing a more subtle look, it's really easy to move and glide across your eye. It doesn't hurt. It's a little felt tip pen, so it's not going to look too um, extravagant if you want to do a small line. Um, it's really movable, which is really helpful when you're gliding it across your eye. Um, and personally, it's my favourite to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would rate the accessibility of this eyeliner 5 out of 5. In terms of pigmentation, I have no problems rating this 5 out of 5. It's really good, it's really black, it doesn't, it's not transferable, so it dries really quickly, and yeah, it's just a really, really all-round great pen. Best pen ever. L'Oreal Super Liner Holla! It's exactly the same as Maybelline Master Precise in terms of accessibility. I give it a 5 out of 5. It's got really similar nib and I've had this one for a really long time. This was the first one that I got to um, practice with when I first went blind um, and it's just a really good pen. In terms of the pigment and colour payoff, this isn't quite like the Maybelline Master Precise. It does transfer and smudge. It's, it's movable but it's not as black and yeah it does wear a lot. You could probably only wear it for like two to three hours and it'd be completely black and you'd probably need to build it up with some eyeshadow underneath for it to really stay. Um, so with that in mind, it's three out of five for me. Rimmel London Scandalized Thick and Thin Eyeliner. I picked this one because I really liked their other Scandalized eyeliners, um, but this one is very, very scratchy and really thin. Um, you can't get a proper eye line with it, in my opinion, um, especially being blind and not being able to see it. It just looks really scratchy according to Al and it's just, I don't really find it the easiest to put on and it, it does quite hurt. So for that reason, it's 2 out of 5 for me. In terms of the colour and pigmentation, it's very much like the other scandalised um, eyeliners and the staying power is very very good, it's quite black and if you didn't have a problem with sensitive eyes or anything I really would give this a go um, if you like a more subtle eyeliner wearer um, it's 4 out of 5 for me. Revlon Colour Stay Liquid Eyeliner this has a brush tip so it's a lot harder to get on your eye again it's thin and a little bit scratchy, it's a bit immovable I give it a 3 out of 10 for sort of gliding on the eye, it's not too, too good, but it has a little water ball in, and that's fun. I'm giving this eyeliner a 4 out of 5 for pigment and staying power because it's really pigmented, um, really black, but it takes a while to dry, so you need to stay with your eyes like this. Like, I know guys, I need to like just sway this. Is it dry yet? Rimmel London Glam Eyes Liquid Eyeliner. I'm giving this a 1 for accessibility because you literally cannot feel it when you're um, doing the brush on your eye. Um, but it is very soft, so give it someone else to do it for you if you're blind. Or if you're a starter in liquid eyeliner. But yeah, you need to be a sort of pro to get this on your eye and look good. Alice. <clears throat> it dries down to a matte finish. 
it stays really really long it's black it stays all night and if you're gonna get your party on you need to wear this it does sting a little though when it's drying so watch out for that um, it stings me and Alice anyway so yeah it's just about 5 out of 5 Collection Extreme 24 hour felt tip liner this is really good in terms of accessibility you can glide it on much like the Maybelline Master Precise and um, L'Oreal Scandalize it's quite good in that sense and really good to practice if you've never done eyeliner before because it's quite cheap I think it's about £3 so you can purchase that so I rate this 4 out of 5 I give this 2 out of 5 for pigmentation it doesn't really last it smudges even though it's very black to start off with it, it doesn't really last at all so sorry collection thank you so much for watching my hate or rate liquid eyeliner edition I really hope you got something from it let me know in the comments whether you liked it or which eyeliner you prefer and I will do something different, um, whether you want hate or rate foundations, um, concealers, whatever, and I can give it a go. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye! There is Sorry, no time I'm for slouching! <laughs> wicky wicky word! Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have our end screen. Eyeliners! Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> floaty top time. <laughs> I can feel it like <laughs> being all floaty. <laughs> you do want to be, don't you? I recorded it. Yeah, I was <laughs> it's because we were recording. <laughs>